They're clean, they got big towels. Don't you guys like big towels? You stay in a hotel? Yeah. I stayed at Hotel 6, that's a cheap hotel. You can't take your. Let me hear it. Come on. Yeah. You come on Showtime. You see him on Comedy Central, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a huge rally welcome for Mr. Ronnie Bullard. Yeah. Free beer, free wine, every day for two hours at Embassy Suites Hotel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see the good part about that? You don't have to be staying in this hotel. <laughs> no, you don't. See, all you need, really, is that little room key that says Embassy Suites on it. They don't check anything, people. They look at the key and give you drinks. And I sell these keys. <laughs> These are $5 a piece, there's my show, and I'll be right out there. <laughs> Y'all think I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, Mari. I stay in hotels all the time. Worst hotel ever stayed in Ozark, Alabama. A cockroach came to me and goes, hey man, we got ants. <laughs> I go in the bathroom, this hotel is a crack in the sink, water running everywhere. I call the front desk, I go, hey, I got a leak in my sink. He said, go ahead. <laughs> Big towels. Don't you guys like big towels? You stay in a hotel. Yeah. I stayed at Hotel Six. That's a cheap hotel. You can't take your towels from your washcloths. <laughs> I go into my car and bring up some good towels. The maid cleaned the room and stole my towels. <laughs> I'm complaining to the manager of Hotel Six. Your maid took my towels. He goes, Do you recognize them? I go, Yeah. They say Holiday Inn. <laughs> I watch CNN all the time. Comedians love CNN because they have the news. You make fun of the news. Yeah. But you ever, you ever watch CNN? Because here's what they do on CNN. They'll be showing a program about something. Underneath the program, they have constant running headlines. Just the headline. Nothing about the story. Just the headline. And I swear, every time the headline is more interesting than the story that they're showing. Now, I'll give you an example. Today, I'm watching a story about Herman Cain, right? A little story about Herman Cain. Underneath, here's a headline. Man in Minnesota with no arms robs bank. <laughs> a man with no arms robbed a bank. That's what I want to hear about. How did he carry the money? Did he, did he have a gun? He had a gun, did they charge him with armed robbery? I don't know. <laughs> See an answer, Herman Cain. Though. He's got another woman that's come out about Herman Cain with his sexual allegations. Apparently, he was trying to enroll them in his 6999. <laughs> <laughs> this is on the news. The number one selling sex toy in Europe last year was a talking vibrator. I swear to God, a talking vibrator. Would you like that, ladies? <laughs> What if it said help? <laughs> it's hot in here. Cute. Who the hell want a talking about? It'd be hard to hear anyway, wouldn't it? <laughs> now you hear it, now you don't, now you hear it. <laughs> talking in tongues. <laughs> 
women don't want a talking vibrator. You want one that listens. <laughs> She goes, oh my God, your penis is huge. I said, you're pulling my leg. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I fly all the time. I actually flew home. And I, flew, I went there in Raleigh. I flew home on Thanksgiving Day. That was sort of the, I got home for Thanksgiving dinner, which is nice. I got the emergency row exit. Though. You guys ever get that? The emergency row exit? Oh, yeah. Because they give me a little speech. In the event of emergency, are you willing to open this door and help your fellow passengers? Right. The planes crash. Fire everywhere. All of a sudden, I'm a super hero. I'm going to open this door and stand there. After you. After you. I'll help them. Everybody, follow me. We're going to fly to Australia. We're thinking about going to Australia. So we're talking to the travel agent. Agent tells us it's 35 hours to fly to Australia. Mm. And I'm like, 35 hours? And she gets like huffy about it. She goes, sir, it's halfway around the world. I go, yeah. And the world turns all the way around every 24 hours. <laughs> you don't think it one that thing? Why can't I go to the airport, get in a helicopter, and hover for 12 hours? <laughs> Some of you are going, that's a good idea. Right? <laughs> Everybody should have thought of that a long time. <laughs> I flew into Oklahoma City. There's two airports in Oklahoma City. The Will, the Will Rogers Airport and the Wiley Post Airport. Will Rogers got killed in a plane crash. Wiley Post was a pilot flying the plane. <laughs> they named their airports after two people that got killed in the same plane. Some things don't go together, people. You don't see the Donald Trump hair salon. The Jeffrey Dahmer cookbook. The Casey Anthony daycare center. I made my point. Here's a little trivia thing. I work in Atlantic City. Like, when Marla Nagels and Donald Trump were married, they had a daughter named Tiffany. They named her Tiffany because it's Marla's favorite place to shop. Tiffany's. Yeah. So my wife doesn't want to do that. Here's my son, Walmart. <laughs> That's his sister, Kay. <laughs> Our twins, Piggly and Wiggly, right there. <laughs> I saw this one news. A 15 year old girl in LA turned her parents in for drugs, man. Call the police, don't her, man. They were mad, too. She's the one that sold it to them. <laughs> you guys want to know about drugs, would you? Clap me a smoke pot. There they are, officer. <laughs> Don't worry, the real boss folks will plant five minutes from now. <laughs> Lots of nothing. The weirdest way people are getting high is licking toads. I know you guys heard about this, right? The Colorado River toad. A toad, right? A frog. Yeah. Apparently this toad will get upset, aggravated, agitated. It'll secrete an hallucinogenic chemical through his skin. People are getting this toad pissed off and licking it to get high. I swear to God, I don't know how you piss a toad off. I thump them on the head. That pissed me off. You don't use psychology. See the menu? Frog legs. What do you think about that? I saw your wife with a lizard. They're pissing toads off and licking them to get high. Doesn't that bother anybody? I don't know. Where can we get these toads? Saturday night, I'll lick a damn toad. Here was the drinks are. I'll lick two damn toads. I'll stick an ice cream stick in his ass and call it a toad stick. I bet they can't test me for a toad. They're licking toads. I don't know where they're licking them at either. If it's a horny toad, he's laying like this. Little eyes bugging out. That's the green away. One day a cop will pull you over. Get a toad in the car. We'll go to parties. BYOT. <laughs> People will be in the emergency room. What happened? EOT. <laughs> you know what it's really 
mushrooms, we cannot win a world on drugs. If people want to get high, they'll try anything in the world. Like the mushrooms, sell us out of mushrooms. What do they grow out of? Cow shit. Mushrooms growing out of cow shit. Who the hell decided to eat one of those? <laughs> Somebody was number one, right? Somebody said, damn it, I don't want to get high. I bet you eat that mushroom out of that cow shit, I'm going to bud. Now go ahead, I'm licking this toad. <laughs> Tell somebody I'm here if you lick a horse's nuts, you get high. Let's get out of here. Hold this table. Are you getting high? No. Keep it up. The horse loves this shit. Let it up. I'm a small town. Look at that shit. We have one Hell's Angel. He didn't even have a motorcycle. Clean his ears, roll the wax little balls, and put them in the chickpeas in a salad bar. I know, he works here now. Probably like the dumb stuff. I got a German shepherd that's the worst breath in the world. Anybody here got a dog with really bad breath? Anybody? Dog with really bad breath? Oh, we got up there. Somebody's bad. What kind of dog you got? A what? A toy poodle. Why back at me, man? I like little bitty things. Have you tried to do anything for his breath? You don't give a shit? <laughs> I know, my wife does. I had to take a dog to the vet. They try to sell me breath is sure for dogs. 88 cent a pill. $26 since I'm a month of your dog's bread. I don't know about you people, but mm, fuck that. <laughs> I don't spend that on my bread. I take your mom, I gotta do something. My wife's raising hell. I take some Listerine and put it in a spray bottle. I call my mother. I'm trying to spray Listerine in his mouth. He won't let me do it, so I sprayed it on his ball. He's licking him all the time. Especially now, I'm putting Listerine stings. I'm gonna be laughing, I'm gonna be going, that's a good idea, right? I'm putting these right this dog to do a joke. You know dogs are when they go in a room, they're right here crotch, right? They want to get to know you. People get embarrassed. Usually some poor lady's going, stop. <laughs> you should never the dogs embarrassed. My buddy trained his dog. You run up and take a sniff. They play dead. <laughs> Do you ever notice know this? When men start losing their hair, they grow beards. Like they think maybe one day they could turn their head upside down. How you doing? Nice looking beard you got there. How long you had your beard, sir? Years. I tried to grow a beard. Friend told me I was driving through Beardstown, Pennsylvania. Legend is your beard will grow. My wife right now wants me to drive through Petersburg, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving through Michigan, true story. Here's a sign, climax, five miles. She goes, for once, we'll get there at the same time. <laughs> In the news. This is in the news. They made a movie about a guy in Utah was mountain climbing and a boulder fell on his arm. What did he do? Cut, cut his arm off. That's incredible to me. Guy took his pocket knife out, cut his arm off, and went for help. Is that incredible? Anyone here think that you could do that? Anybody? Hell no. I got a hang down. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I need a toad. <laughs> Lady in Indiana, a lady in Indiana got a callus on her big toe. This is a true story. And drank a bunch of vodka and took a gun, took a shotgun, and blew her toe off with it to get rid of a callus. Holy crap, man. I bet her kids never go, Mom, I got a headache. <laughs> Chattanooga, Tennessee, true story. The gold bond company is having a company picnic. They're playing tug of war the gold bond company picnic. This guy ramps a rope around his hand. They jerk so hard playing tug of war the company picnic. It jerks his hand off. Oh. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> but you know what? That's a competitive fucking company. Isn't it? <laughs> we won. His hand crossed the line. <laughs> Can you see in say five years from now what happened to your hand? I lost in the war. <laughs> Iraq and tug of. Don't worry about it. He's, a guy in 
New Jersey got a hand transplant. That's incredible, right? They can do that. A hand transplant. Y'all read about that, right? Y'all got a hand transplant. It didn't work out. His penis rejected him. <laughs> can you imagine that, guys? Another man's hand. <laughs> for 250 Jehovah Witnesses. And all they wanted to hear was knock knock jokes. <laughs> they go door to door, people. I just see him knocking on the gates of heaven saying he's going for Tim or not home. A lot of people died recently don't think about it. The guy that wrote the hokey pokey died. They like they never got him buried. <laughs> put his right foot in and took his right foot. Maybe I need to explain all the jokes to you. <laughs> oh, Red Barger died. Oh, Red Barger. Did y'all see his funeral? They shook the coffin. <laughs> in the military. I didn't know that. Did y'all know that? He was a colonel. <laughs> uh, give our military a hand. Though. Give him a hand. God bless you. I'm in the military. I'm in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. You know what I mean? Comedians should not be in the military. We're talking zero sense of humor in an organization. My sergeant said, you'd like to piss on my grave, wouldn't you? I said, no. If I get out of this, I don't want to stand in line for anything. <laughs> I had a tree new that took some chunky peanut butter put on the rim of the toilet. Sergeant goes, what is that? I go, mmm, tastes like shit, sir. <laughs> I thought I was the toughest soldier there related to <laughs> We just made it other shit, little stupid stuff. I make fun of people dying. When I die, I want my funeral to be fun. I'm a comedian, it should be fun, I think. I want it done like a wedding. I want tin cans on the back of the hearse. Big letters on the side, just dead. <laughs> I want them to throw the wreath. People would dodge a wreath. Get the hell out of the way, I'm not going to catch a wreath. <laughs> so they show the team or something here, man. <laughs> Some people think we shouldn't have a death penalty. I feel like if you murder somebody in cold blood, you deserve a death penalty. How many people feel that way? Anybody feel that way? But it's rough. Because people think, no, 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 God makes that decision. And I respect that. We ought to have us a wrath of God penalty. We won't kill a murderer, but then we're going to snore. He's got to get on the roof of a lightning rod, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, let's see what God thinks about you this time. <laughs> Somebody laughing and somebody going, that's a good idea right there. <laughs> Brad, he really thinks this speech is just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this stuff at Kmart or something, man. <laughs> uh, hey, fucker, fix that. <laughs> it looks like a big roach thing, you can do it. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. What the hell was I talking about? We're just made this other shit. Think about stuff. Do you ever think about the first time that a caveman farted? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> what the hell do you people spend your time thinking about? <laughs> Eight or nine of the big cave, that first fart in human history, that had to happen. <laughs> Don't you know that scared the hell out of what you hear a caveman? <laughs> think about the one that did it. <laughs> I know it's here. I smell it. I think he's dead already. That's where the saying came from. Something grown up your ass and died. That's a theory, man. Do you ever wonder if gay people get excited if they look at themselves? Damn. Don't need to go out. Remember Richard Hatch, the gay guy that wants survival? Richard Hatch is doing full-page ads for Got Milk. 
forgot milk people with a white mustache. What the uh -oh. fuck were they thinking about? <laughs> I'm looking at it. Is that milk? <laughs> I don't want to gamble in. <laughs> what do they call cocktails? Cocktails. Go in there and figure is that the three or four? You're after one or the other. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Everybody said don't drunk drive. Stevie Wonder, man. Steve. Good nights for Mike Stans come to die. The Olsen twin is drunk. We got this open container lot here in North Carolina. You guys remember the open container lot? Policeman pulls you over and finds a, a beer can in your car. Beer can can be there for a day, a week, a month, a year. It does not matter. $200 fine and your ass goes to jail. Y'all think that's a good law? Yeah. No, it's a stupid law. Let's not discourage drinking and driving. It encourages littering. <laughs> look, look, look. Get that son of a bitch out the car. <laughs> Lose some weight, man. Yeah. Did three sets this morning. <laughs> you know, we hit that snooze button so many times. <laughs> a lot of ways to lose weight on TV. A friend of mine lost 20 pounds. They call it gut buster. All you do is you hook it on your feet and you pull on it. First time he pulled on it, it slipped off his feet, not his teeth. He did it deep for three weeks. <laughs> Set up, they make a belt with a motor in it, put the belt on, it'll push your stomach in and out for you. He got it, where's it on his ass when he's making love to his wife? <laughs> it happens, I'll be going, that's a good idea right there. We'll get to and synchronize it. <laughs> for adults, let's be honest, you get married, you gotta work on the sex life. I don't care much you love a person, you're the same person year in and you're out, you gotta do stuff, you gotta make it interesting. I remember I heard about the G-spot. Man, I got excited when I heard about that G-spot. Didn't you guys get excited when you heard about the G-spot? Yeah! One guy. <laughs> guys, if you love your woman, you should be excited. I was excited. Here's a magic spot. I could make her happy every time. I'm going, damn, I got to find this G-spot. I got excited as hell. Then I found out my dick had to be shaking like a cut name. <laughs> You guys have the butterfly flick? You better learn it, man. Get that little love button between your tooth and your tongue, right at the very tip. You go, <laughs> like a little boxing man. They like that, man. Your little honey's a family tape like fresh rice krispies on a food. <laughs> I'm telling you, for 30 seconds, their butts are put off the bed and the toes curl up and they go, I love you. <laughs> this is a great big laugh, but the women are looking at me a lot damn different. <laughs> Oh, short, chubby fucker, kind of cute. Any celebrations? Not me, some birthdays over here. Here's a birthday person over there. Birthday person, where you at? Raise your hand. There's one over there, this gentleman here. What's your name, sir? Jason. What is it? Jason. Jason? And, and Jay, who's that with you, Jason? That's your wife. What's her name? <laughs> he looked at her like he don't know her name. <laughs> What's her name, Jason? Priscilla. Priscilla? Is that right? Yes. Jason and Priscilla. Where are you from, Jason? Right here? Durham. Durham, huh? Shit. <laughs> what do you do there in Durham, Jason? I work in the VA. I'm a scientist. You, you're a scientist in Durham in the VA. Oh, shit. Wow. So you're like smart as shit, huh? Is he smart, Priscilla? Very smart. Very smart, yeah. Okay, what you And Priscilla, what do you do? You go to school. What grade you in, baby? <laughs> you are smart as shit, aren't you, guys? Got me a ninth grader here. <laughs> and how old are you on your birthday, Jason? Forty-two. Forty-two. Yeah. What 
did you get for your birthday? It hasn't come yet. It hasn't come yet. Wow. Are you expecting something you've never had before? No. You are a scientist. And there's a birthday person down here. There's some young lady in here. What's your name? Raise your hand. I saw him looking at you. The young lady, what's your name, sweetheart? Megan Liz. Oh, two birthdays? At the same day? Megan, you're Megan or Liz? Megan. Megan, that's Liz. And how about Megan, what do you do for a living? I cut hair. You cut hair? Liz, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Liz? Huh? She's an HR. She's an HR. Can she fucking talk? <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you on your birthday, Megan? Both 28. What did you get for your birthday? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday, girl. You, they tell their age that usually they ask the person how old they are, they go, how old do you think I am? What do you mean everything like that? What's your name? Take a guess. <laughs> be a damn long day, wouldn't it? <laughs> what would you like to drink? Figure it out, bitch. <laughs> do that. Go mix your drinks in the bathroom up there. You say. <laughs> You're the person to serve a hand. Your waiters, waitress, you got hey! Smart answers. I like that turtle suit. Make it stand. <laughs> I learned four magic words. I just started today. I would say that every damn day. There's people you don't want to hear say that. Like a dentist, that's the wrong too. Well, I just started today. <laughs> scientist. What kind of scientist now, man? Or the, the VA. What do you do for them as a scientist? Okay, well, wow, man. Give another hand here. <laughs> How long y'all been married? How long you said you've been married? Just over a year. Oh, man, over, over a year. year. Congratulations, man. man. Honeymoon's still going? Yeah. Are you doing all right? You enjoying married life? Yeah. Yeah, you're the king, right, Jason? Well, <laughs> she says I am. Martin Luther King, you've got a dream. Give <laughs> it ten more years, you're like BB King, the thrill is gone. <laughs> Thirty years, Rodney King. <laughs> you know the hell? Can't we just get along? <laughs> I tell you to tell when the honeymoon's over. I'm a married man. I knew my honeymoon was over, and I was in the bathroom shaving one morning. My wife came in and took a dump. <laughs> man's going right out the window. <laughs> Hell, I opened the window. <laughs> I made noises. I didn't think about that. That's why they got that man put together, guys. One of them was guarding the door. <laughs> Here now, Margaret. <laughs> Theory. You guys ever be white Cindy just sort of by tampons? I can't have stopped that. I took her picture with me. That's her right there. <laughs> Run, run like you never run. <laughs> I love Christian. Is this just a science scientist? I'm not making it up. They're coming out with a <laughs> it's this thing somehow. They're coming out with a battery birth control device. A little battery, like a microchip. They place it next to the woman's cervix. This little battery will kill sperm in a low-level electrical current. Like a bug zapper. <laughs> Snap crackle, no pop. <laughs> She knows she's having an orgasm, her hair standing on it. <laughs> Picture me in a wet spot. Oh shit! Unplug it! Unplug it! Wait, don't unplug it yet. Trojan 
condoms with the condom called the Magnum condom. What's special about the Magnum condom, guys? It's big. It wasn't you? He was looking at much. Twenty percent larger than the average condom, the Magnum condom. They're gonna sell, aren't they, guys? <laughs> Think about it, man. You're in a drugstore, in a line. People are behind you. Sometimes behind the counter. What do you say to a lady? I need a box of Trojans. She goes, is that standard or magnum? She's going to stand in line and go, standard. Because <laughs> no, we're men. We'll go, magnum. <laughs> yeah. I need five boxes. Then your girlfriend's gonna bring it back. We make a mistake. <laughs> she can even feel a dip on the damn thing. <laughs> dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. There's a picture right there. Get a good look at it. I gotta do these. I need to roll it up. The ladies are laughing. They have condoms for women. Y'all put them in like a trash can liner or something. <laughs> Small, regular, hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> hey guys, I hope I'm not embarrassing anybody here. I don't want to embarrass anybody. We're all alike. That's my little point. We're all alike. When you yawn, look around. People yawn back at you. You ever notice that? Now, a lot of things are like that. Like, you wave at somebody, and they wave back at you. Somebody gives you the bird, what do you do? Give it right back. We're in television. <laughs> Confuse someone, you cross the signals. Guy gives you the bird, wait at him. <laughs> Trust me on this, you're confusing. Shit. <laughs> Maybe I know that guy. <laughs> Hell, he might wait back at you. <laughs> and then you give him the bird. I've never seen people named Richard call themselves Dick. I don't want to be rich. She wants to be a dick. I had a friend in school, I called him up on the phone, his mama answered and I said, Can I speak to Dick? She goes, Big Dick or Little Dick? I said, I don't know him that well, lady. I'm in his science class. His last name was Holder. Little dick holder. He's a coach at Penn State now. Hey, I just started today. And I'm dirt. Any of you ladies ever get an obscene call? Women never make obscene calls. You know why? Because people go, yeah. What you gonna do then? Holy shit. Where you live? I'm a scientist. My birthday. We never call our loved ones by their names. We give them little nicknames, don't we? Baby, kitten, sunshine. I call my wife Booker. Booker, because I picked her. Calls me Fart Blossom. I love my booger, man. She does some dumb stuff too. She bought a cordless phone for every room in our house. <laughs> She's traveling, I'm talking to her, she's complaining about the hotel bill. I go, Booger, do the all American thing. Steal stuff. Get some towels, man. Get that TV. She sold 20 wooden coat hangers with no damn hook on <laughs> All the stuff in a hotel, you've taken coat hangers that don't have a hook on them. She said, you can't buy these in a store. <laughs> now she's accusing me of snoring. You back out of love with the snores? Boy, yeah. friend, girlfriend, husband, or yeah, She's raising her hand. And she's clapping. He snores? Yeah, have you tried to stop his snoring? Yeah, what'd you do? Slapped him. <laughs> You didn't poke him, you slapped him. Holy shit. Did that work? Booker got those breathe right things, little adhesive strips. Have you tried those? 
Yeah, they work too. I taped their ears shut. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. Right? <laughs> I do dumb things, ladies. Don't think I'm being mean if a booger man. When I travel, it's a true story here. When I travel, I keep my phone in my shirt pocket right here. That way, my phone rings. I can hear my phone. I know it's my phone. I get right to it and answer, right? Well, I, about a month ago, I'm, on, I'm in an Orlando airport, and I call my wife. True story. I get my cell phone out. Call my wife. I'm talking to my wife with my cell phone. I look down. My shirt pocket's empty. I go, oh, my God, I've lost my cell phone. <laughs> I'm an idiot. She goes, check your pants pockets. I'm going, I'm checking. <laughs> it went on for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. My grandparents have been married 70 years. You know what I mentioned that? 70 years, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, do my hand. Let me put them in there. They were good one. My grandfather's 96. He's a who man. He's the toughest man I've ever been in my life. He drinks. He chews the back. Grandma's right. 95, right? Five years ago, I got them a clapper for Christmas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Clap your lights go on. Clap, clap your lights go on, right? He's 91 years old, and I'm asking him. I go, do you like that clapper? He goes, I don't like that damn thing. And he kind of hurt my feelings. I go, what's wrong with it? He goes, well, Grandma and I make love now. The lights go on and on. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. Who's your granddaddy? Who's your granddaddy? <laughs> I can't look Grandma in the eye. Jason, this is your first marriage, right? No, second. second. Okay. How long did that first one last? Uh, I really don't want to talk about that shit on my first How long? 16 years. Oh, no, shit, that was a long time. I'm on my second marriage. I can't give you a hell, man. I'm on my second one. I knew that first marriage was not working out. I was driving over one day. Bye, my first wife. <laughs> my first wife ripped the rear view mirror out of the windshield and beat me in the head. Beat me in the head with a rear view mirror, people. You thought no one had ever screwed her sister before. <laughs> First time we made love. I said, am I the first man to make love with you? She says, you could be. You look damn to me. <laughs> Did you ever think dumb shit about sex when you are a kid? I used to practice kissing girls on my pillow. How many guys did that? Like you can raise your hand on that. I'm out with a girl, they're mad as hell. I'm fluffing their face. Turn your hand around. Let me get the cool side. My daddy was there. And when you were, oh, what is your name, sir? Todd. Todd, what do you do for a living, Todd? You build tires? Right. Just start right from scratch. I mean, I'm going to build tires. <laughs> That's pretty good. So when you quit, you'll retire. <laughs> you can't be very good at it. You couldn't even fix this bugger for me. <laughs> not a tire. Well, damn, you're a genius, Todd. That's not a tire. <laughs> Yes. You're a married man there? Yeah. Let me ask you this. When you were a kid, did your daddy tell you about sex, honestly? No. No. How about you, Jason? Did your daddy tell you about sex? No. No? See, you guys are lucky. My daddy scared the shit out of me. <laughs> My daddy's a big old redneck. He's a good old boy. I was five years old. I asked him where I came from. He looked me in the eye. He said, out, out the end of my dick. <laughs> We got the dictionary. We went right down the dictionary. Asked me to spell orgasm. I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I lost with the teacher came to me after school. <laughs> I hated that man. Cook. Don't think she would fix the spam. Anybody here like spam? Yeah. You're a nut. <laughs> One time I asked him about spam, I took a dump that came out in a block. <laughs> it would have hurt, but it had that jelly stuff around it. <laughs> I went to safari land. I went to a drive-thru 
true zoo. You ever do that? You drive through in your car and the animals run or loose around the car. True story. We're driving through. Zoo Ranger jumps out of his little Jeep, runs into my car, scares the shit out of me. My back window's cracked three inches. He goes, you better roll that window up. A lion will get his paw in there and rip that window right out of your car. I go, yeah, and I'll be dragging his ass a hundred miles an hour across this zoo. This little lion boat will be going ba doo ba doo ba I'm you, I get back in my Jeep. Here comes the damn lion. I got a piece of shit car, I'll kill a lion, but Booker has a brand new car, ladies. Brand new Elantra, 2000, oh, Elantra. I have a piece of shit, 1989 Oldsmobile, man. It's a big yeah. The driver's door's all knocked in and stuff. My wife paints this car with a passion, but I won't get rid of it, because I can have fun with a piece of shit car. Like the orange cones they put up when they work on the highway. You guys ever see those when they're all knocked down? Right here. <laughs> You hit a cone just right, you can make people that are working on the highway move. <laughs> Even a flag man, they said he long and hard to get that damn job, didn't they? They started him out on one way street. <laughs> Anybody here drive a piece of shit car besides me? Yeah. I saw the parking lot. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, it's fun, man. I piss my neighbors off. I park in front of their house. <laughs> I don't want to park that piece of shit in front of my house. <laughs> my muffler fell off. You ever seen that? A muffler dragging the highway? I got a coat hanger holding it up. Wooden coat hanger. <laughs> the other day, another guy with a piece of shit car is admiring it. I'm in a parking lot. He goes, that's a good coat hanger. <laughs> you can't buy those. Much. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to drive the car. I don't give a shit. I got tinted, I got tinted windows. <laughs> I don't understand people. Brand new Mercedes Benz. $70,000 car and tinted windows. Shit on that. I got a brand new Mercedes. All people see who the hell I am. Shit, I put in magnifying glass. <laughs> people be going, who's that big headed fucker? <laughs> don't piss him off. That's the biggest son bitch I've ever seen in my life. Put the head on that monster. <laughs> Like a real good looking girl, I hold my dick up to the window. Yeah. Look at the head on that monster. It's a magnet man right there. Yeah. Hard to pick up girls with a piece of shit car, though. I remember that when I was single. I get one in my car, and they go, What happened to your rear view mirror? I go, You got a sister? Driving to Florida, I don't care where you enter Florida. If you drive in on I 95, I 10, a, a, a little side road in the middle of nowhere, if you drive into Florida, there will be a sign that says, Arrive Alive. No matter where you enter Florida, Arrive Alive. Apparently, a lot of dead people were driving into Florida. <laughs> I'm driving from Tallahassee to Tampa. Here's a sign Tampa, 176 miles. Next sign, Tampa, 174 miles. Next sign, Tampa. 172 miles. Then there's not another sign that you get to Tampa. <laughs> that means the Florida Highway Department did a study. They decided we need three signs between Tallahassee and Tampa. Then the highway crew got together that morning, did their little study. <laughs> we put these signs close together, we can be crew by 12 o'clock. <laughs> Where you put those orange cones, the fucker knocked me down. <laughs> Biggest piece of shit car I've ever seen. Had a line hanging out the window. Had a wooden coat hanger holding up the muffler. That was a nice coat hanger. I don't think you can buy that. Hey, nothing. You see that big headed thing in the Mercedes? <laughs> think I knew him. I gave him the finger. He waved at me. <laughs> Low-flying airplanes. What are we supposed to do? We better let the air out of our tires. Falling rocks, Booker, put on a hard hat. Slow children ahead. That's just cruel. They can't help that. I don't know how dumb my kid is. Somebody's got a sign out in front of my house. That would hurt her feelings. She ever learned to read, that break her little heart. That deer crossing sign. Who's that for? Hunters? This looks like a good spot. 
They sit there and they're going out there, man, they shit. They're shooting the damn sign. <laughs> We're giving animals signs. Possums should get a sign or two, don't you all think? If I was showing oh, I thought apostles weren't flat in the middle. Then I got a text. I got an armadillo. Did you guys ever seen an armadillo? Possum thinks he's a tank. They're smarter than I saw much armadillos at a deer crossing sign putting on little antlers. <laughs> you might have made it halfway across the road of Hunter County unless you shot them all, dude. Call me up. You ever seen a deer that short? <laughs> Damn thing looks like an armadillo. <laughs> ever should lick that toad? <laughs> Gator Land Zoo, there's a sign. Don't tease the alligators. I got out my alligator billfold. I'm going, look at that. Come on. I like the big no U turn signs on the interstate. Without them, we couldn't spot the places to turn around. That's where the Highway Patrol turns around, isn't it? That's why I throw out nails. Turn around nails. Some of you laughing, some of you going, that's a good idea right there. You like a good practical joke? You do this next time a highway patrolman pulls you over. Gets out of his patrol car. He's walking up to your car. Right when he gets to the back of your car, pull up eight or nine yards. <laughs> oh my God, they love that. <laughs> do it three or four times. They don't forget why the hell they pulled you up. You get a bar up in the car and shit, take off. <laughs> have fun. You gotta have fun. Like, go to the laundromat. Take a baby doll with you. Put it in the spin dryer. <laughs> Have you seen my baby? <laughs> my daddy taught me that one. <laughs> my daddy's a big old redneck. He used to put baby powder in his underwear. He'd get up every morning and he'd put baby powder in his underwear. He stopped doing it. One time he's at a party, he had gas. <laughs> he'd fart and little white clouds hanging out. <laughs> one old lady's running around the room. Is there a baby in here? He needs his diaper jacket. My wife and I, we, we have a picture right over there. My lovely beat her booger here. We, uh, yeah, give her a hand. Look her. She's got something like that. We have, we have two beautiful girls, right? So I'm thinking, we don't want any more kids. So I'm thinking about getting a vasectomy. So I'm talking to my daughter, Dr. Dramic, right? And here's a true story. So I'm, asking, I'm an idiot. I, don't, I can tell a few jokes. I don't know shit about anything else, right? So I'm asking him about the, the vasect, vasectomy. So I'm saying it wrong. Vasectomy. So, uh, Here's what he tells me. Because what we do, Mr. Gordon, is we cut the tube where the sperm goes to the penis. And I go, what, what? You cut the tube where the sperm goes to the penis? He goes, yeah, that's right. I go, wait a minute. I'm still producing sperm? It just can't get to the end of the penis? He goes, that's right. I go, what happens to the extra sperm? He goes, it's absorbed into the body. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, what if I get like a runny nose? <laughs> The whole front row break. <laughs> so we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> what else have I done this center? We were in Hawaii this year when they had the Iron Man Triathlon. You ever see that shit? They swim two and a half miles in the ocean. In the ocean, bicycle 112 miles and then run 26 miles in one day. Not six years, one day. <laughs> I quit shooting pool because they didn't like walking around the table. <laughs> I like bowling. The ball comes right the hell back to me. <laughs> 2,000 people in the ocean. One day a shark's going to go, it's a buffet. <laughs> Actually, I like to shoot pool. They have red chalk. Have you seen this, guys? Man, if you're shooting pool in a bar that has red chalk, wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, what a word of advice this is. I went to the bathroom and got this red pool chalk on my Cali whacker. <laughs> That's my dick. <laughs> season and thinks it's lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. I'm in there and that's chalk. I was shooting pool. She was with your dick. <laughs> chalk, it's chalk, it's chalk. Taste it. <laughs> After your marijuana, Jason, you got to trick them. <laughs> keep chalk with me all the time. <laughs> Going home, I'm chalking it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have 
is so much fun, man. You gotta, you gotta have fun every time you get a chance. This is the secret of life, man. I love old jokes, by the way. I'm, after the show's over, I'll be over here. If you have a really good old joke, you actually come by and tell it to me. I'll probably know it, but if you tell me one I don't like, I love it and I pass it on. Here's a couple old jokes. Uh, let's see. These are old jokes. Another the punchline. Don't yell this shit out. Uh, these four couples go on a mountain retreat. Get on a mountain retreat, two bedrooms. And they say, well, crap. All four men will sleep in one bedroom. All four women will sleep in the other bedroom. What guy wakes up in the middle of the night? All excited. Tells the guy next to him, he's going, man, in. I just woke up with the biggest heart on in my life. I'm going next door and getting my wife. The guy goes, you better take me with you. He goes, why? Because it's my dick you got to hold up. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions. You get the answer right, I'll let you go home early. Little John's going, oh shit, I hate school. I want to go home early. Teacher goes, okay, who said four score and seven years ago? Before anybody can do anything, Mary jumps up and Mary goes, Abraham Lincoln. The teacher goes, that's right, Mary going home, I'll see you, buddy. Little Johnny's going, i got to get the next one. She goes, okay, who said give me liberty or give me death? Alice jumps up and goes, Patrick Henry. Teacher goes, that's right, Alice going home, I'll see you, buddy. Little Johnny can't stand it. She goes, okay, who said it's not what your country do for you, what you can do for your country? Susan jumps up and goes, John Kennedy. Teacher goes, that's right, Susan going home, I'll see you, buddy. Little Johnny is as mad as he can get. He goes, I wish all these girls and learn to keep their mouths shut. The teacher goes, who said that? He goes, Tiger Woods. I'll see you money. I'm over there and he got some jokes. You know, have fun in life. That's a secret. But you gotta have fun. Do some, do some crazy shit. My first practical joke was on my daddy. I was five years old. He loved to hunt. He's in the den cleaning his rifles. I'm five years old. See my daddy looking at the barrel of a rifle. So I snuck up behind him with a paper bag. Bam! <laughs> Beat my ass. After he changed his pants. My mama's in there. How'd that baby powder get on the couch? Your buddy's driving the car and you see a policeman. Everybody in the car with the driver. Do this. Help! Help! Everybody's laughing with the driver. This time you go to the drive through window of the bank when they send the tube out to you. Fart in it. Send it back in. Send it in. I did that and a woman fell off her stool. But I like everybody that bank was looking at her. <laughs> Doesn't have to be your bank. You can do four, five, six banks a day. We all needed money. We could get it in the news. Bank partner gets robbed. Miller's terrified. Toad liquor suspected. <laughs> My name's Ronnie Bullard. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. We've had so much fun. The party does not have to end. We still have drink specials downstairs. It's just yeah. Saturday night. I'm just saying, you go to a bar or a comedy club, you never know who's going to show up. So join us down there. Otherwise, you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. One more time for, for Jamal. Let him hear it. Come on. Yeah.